Thanks, Goose. Constancy is a futuristic puzzle platformer set on a space station orbiting the moon. The scientists aboard this space station are on the verge of discovering technologies to allow humans to travel faster than light. But something goes terribly wrong. Once again, it's up to robots to save humankind. Uh, upon activation, you'll quickly stumble upon the station's AI. After filling you in on what's happened, he will equip you with the Time Circle, a nifty device that restores time to nearby objects. He then tasks you with collecting power nodes to help open up new areas of the station to explore. The early levels cleverly introduce you to how your equipment works, showing you how your time field manipulates floating objects and moving platforms. And just when you're getting the hang of this, the game introduces the other half of its puzzle mechanic, gravity. Yes, and with gravity comes momentum. Like using falling boxes as elevators. Nodes aren't in every level, but they are always hidden away in difficult to reach places. And like in all good platformers, there's plenty to obstruct you on your collection quest. Pivoting lasers. Rows of saws. Falling objects. And just plain falling will see your little droid blasted to pieces. Uh, but you'll quickly be reset at the start of the level. There's very little consequence for failure in constancy. You don't even lose nodes after dying. I found that it was often simpler to just collect the node than reset for a more direct path to the exit. Yeah, me too. I felt a bit cheap doing it that way, but it's the game's fault for being too easy on me. Unfortunately, ideas like the momentum elevator are few and far between, so I powered through the first part of the game. Affirmative. I was disappointed by how simple it all was. I mean, there were a few levels that were tricky in terms of platforming, but there was no mental challenge in the puzzles. It was all too obvious. Well, yeah, but after about three hours, just as you feel like you're coming to the end of the game, there's a huge difficulty spike. The puzzles become more complex and the platforming requires a lot more skill. It was a nice change of pace to have to actually stop and think about a level, but it just would have been better if there had been a more gradual approach to it. This increase in difficulty coincides with a twist in the story, and from this point onwards, the story is more interesting, as well as the gameplay. The story is developed further through video diaries from before the disaster, which you unlock as you progress. The short cutscenes are charmingly animated. Yeah, and it's a nice break from platforming. It's just such a shame they didn't get to all this good stuff earlier. Constancy has some interesting elements, but the slow start and sudden hike in challenge will throw people off. I'm going to give this six rubber chickens. I think when it finds its groove, it's a lot of fun, so I'm giving it seven. Manipulating gravity in games can be a lot of fun. In fact, I've got a Darren report all lined up on this very topic. Hmm. And I'm going to present it right now from my special set. Hi, Hi Darren. With my studio audience. Mm. Oh, I want a studio audience. Yeah, me too. Someone that laughs every time we walk in the room. I want a studio audience of cats. 